fortune. And today's families are the Taylor family from Birmingham. They're playing the Raymond family from Essex. And now, please welcome your host, Andy Collins. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series of Family Fortunes and I am your brand new host Andy Collins and I am over the moon to get this job. <laughs> I'm moving up in the world. So if anybody out there wants a second hand escort with alloy wheels and flames up the side, <laughs> give me a call off the show and I'll, uh, I'll do you a deal. That's enough about me, let's meet the families. Hello there. Taylor family, Alicia, how are you? I'm fine. Looking absolutely good. Thank you. <laughs> Introduce me to your family. Okay, we've got Sasha, my cousin. Hello, Sasha. Hello, Andy. We've got Auntie Ruth. Hello, Auntie Ruth. <laughs> Hello, Andy. We've got my mum, Zellin. Hello, Zellin. Hello, Andy. And we've got my Aunt Denise. Hello, Aunt Denise. Hello, Andy. Ladies, you are absolutely looking a picture. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. You're ladies that go out and enjoy yourselves, don't you, as well? Yeah. We go on holiday together. You go on holiday, <laughs> on to holiday together? Yeah. So what's the secret of a good holiday? Um, uh, going just the girls, I reckon. Just the girls. <laughs> leave, leaving the men at home. <laughs> so you go out raving away and they're there doing all the housework. Marvellous. Are you going to have fun today? Yeah, yeah. of course we are. And are you going to win the three thousand pounds today? Oh, of course. <laughs> These girls are up for it. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand and once again welcome the Taylor family! <laughs> And over here we have the Raylan family. Hello Vince. Hi Andy. How are you? Fine, thank you. I have to say once again, a very smart team. Very smart team indeed. Introduce me to your family. Uh, this is my brother Steve. Hello Steve. Hi Andy. Uh, my nephew James. Hello James. Hi Andy. My sister-in-law Teresa. Hello Teresa. Hi Andy. And my nephew Lee. Hello Lee, how are you doing? Hi, uh, thanks. Now, what does I hear about you Vince? You've had quite a few jobs, haven't you, in oh, 10 yeah. years? Uh, 15 years. 24 jobs in 15 years. Could you call it Kimble? You've been sent by one old man or something? <laughs> So these are the families that are taking part in today's show. I think it's time to play Family Fortunes. Here you come, family. Alicia, Pete, welcome. Okay, top six answers we're looking for up on the board. And we surveyed 100 people. And we asked them to name something associated with Marilyn Monroe. Alicia. Her shoes. <laughs> her shoes. No, I never remember Marilyn Monroe for her shoes. It was always a bit higher up for me. Um, her blonde hair. Her blonde hair. Yep, come on, sir. <laughs> well, you're on the you're playing. Okay, back to your families. No conferring. Okay, Steve. Her puckered red lips. Yes. I give one a prize. And I'll tell you something, Steve. Me and Roger, we've been to the boot fair. We've got some terrific prizes. Uh, <laughs> Roger, what Steve won? Oh, this is all top banana and lovely jubbly, Andy. <laughs> Get ahead of the tailors, Steve. You can video conference the whole family now. Just one of the tricks on this superb digital camera. Yeah. Marvellous. Yeah. Post your prize. Post your prize. James, what do you think? Her breasts. <laughs> Her breasts. <laughs> no! You lose the life. Teresa, hello there. Hi. What do you reckon? Something associated with Marilyn Monroe. Singing happy birthday to President Kennedy. Singing happy birthday. Yes, J.F. Yeah. Kennedy. Well done. Okay, Lee, all down to you, my friend. Well, Andy, I think it's got to be her dress. Yes, well done. So, this family's doing well, apart from James. What do you reckon? Um, 50s. 50s? Yeah. We're going for the 50s. No, two lives lost. Steve, what do you reckon? Her affairs. Her affairs. <laughs> No, you've lost all your lives. We go over to the Taylor family. Ladies, what do we reckon then? The wiggle. The wiggle. Yeah, the, the way she walked. The way she walked. <laughs> the wiggle. Okay, so? The air vent. Standing over the air vent. Ruth? Don't like it hot. Good film. Sasha? Singing. Alicia? Um, I'd say, oh, uh, diamonds are a girl's best friend. So, what are we going to go for as a team? I think we're going to go for the wiggle. The wiggle? Yes, that's the pill. <laughs> well done, Taylor family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I like okay. Uh, we're missing one answer. What is it? Number six. <laughs> movies. You said movies. Some like art, which is a damn good film. Okay, let's move on to round two of Family Fortunes. Okay, we have Steve. 
We surveyed 100 people with for the top six answers, and we asked them to name, real or fictional, a famous captain. Sasha. Hook. Captain. Captain Hook. Yes. Lots of our show. David will steal this. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. <coughs> oh, so Sasha, do you want to play Dang or do you want to pass? You're going to play. Back to your families. No conferring. Okay. Over to Ruth we go. Hello, Ruth. Hello. What do you reckon? Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. <laughs> yes, Ruth. Well done. Well done, Ruth. And you've won a prize as well. Roger. Well, it's something very appropriate, actually, with her answer. Turn your home into mission control, Ruth. Work your way through the universe with this professional reflector telescope, complete with CD-ROM guides to the stars. Woo! <laughs> okay, Zellen. Captain Cook. Captain Cook. Yes, there it is. Well done. Zellen, what do you reckon? Captain Birdseye. Captain Birdseye. Let's have a look. Yes! Well done, Elise, and you've won a prize as well. Roger! Oh, you'll have to invite us round to Café Taylor because you've just won a designer filter coffee, espresso and cappuccino maker. Woo! Uh, okay, Alicia, what do you reckon? I was going to go for Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Let's see if it's up there. No, you've lost a line. Sasha. Captain Taylor. <laughs> I've got a really funny feeling that we could be hearing the uh-uh in a minute. Captain Taylor. Yeah, you see, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Ruth. No. N no. Sorry. Nothing. No. Nothing. You're going to pass. Oh, oh. Might have to. oh, no, that means you're going to get this sound. Yeah, you've lost all your lives. We go over here to the Rayland family. Could steal this. Put money in your bank. Lee. David Beckham. Say again? David Beckham. <laughs> Captain Beckham. Teresa? Captain Corelli. James? Captain Scarlet. Steve? Captain Blackbeard. Vince? Captain Caveman. Who are you going with? Captain Scarlet. We're looking for Captain Scarlet. <laughs> yeah! Well done! Have a look, he says! Have a <laughs> Yes, the money goes. Oh, it's going to be one of those. We need more security down here, OK? <laughs> uh, the money goes into the James account. There is only one more missing, though. What is it? Number five? Captain Pugwash! Captain Pugwash. Okay, let's move on. Round three. Family fortunes. Here we go. James. Ruth. Auntie Ruth. Meet 80s man James. Okay. Here we go. Six answers up on the boards we're looking for. We surveyed 100 people and we asked them to name something you might hire. James. Car. 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 Yes, top answer. Well, we don't play all the time. We complain. Okay, thank you. Family's no conferring. Okay, Teresa, something you might hire. A carpet shampoo. A carpet shampoo. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> See, will I ever learn to go, oh, and it's up there. Okay, and you've won a prize as well. So, Roger, what's Teresa one? Avoid the misery of queuing at the supermarket checkout, Teresa. Store away more every time with this high-capacity chest freezer. How do you enjoy that? So, I'll let you know the little secret of Roger did his back in lifting that from the boot fair. Right, Lee, something you might hire. A motorcycle. A motorcycle? <laughs> nope, you lost the life. Fence. A uh, bicycle? A bicycle. We're going for bicycle. <laughs> no, two lives lost. And Taylor's once again having a little kid. Me and me might be able to steal. Steve. A boat. <laughs> no, you've lost all your lives. Over to the Taylor family. Uh, um, fancy dress outfit. Marquee. Bath. Hall. Wedding outfit. What are we going to go with, Alicia? I think we're going to go with fancy dress. Okay, if fancy dress costume is up there, the money goes in to the Taylor account. <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> well done indeed, Taylor family. Okay, there are three answers we need to find out. First of all, number six was... <laughs> hire a room. Number five was... Hire an escort. <laughs> Number four was taxi. You would hire a taxi, wouldn't you? Let's have a look at the scores. The Rayland family, you have £82 in your account. Well done to you. And our leaders at the moment are the Taylor family with 157. Today's question is this. Name somewhere you hang your clothes up. Is it A, Coat Hannah? B, 
chair or C, floor. If you think you know what the top answer is, call us on 0901 490 2000. Each correct answer goes into a pool. One lucky winner will be drawn out at random and receive £250. Remember, all correct answers go into a grand draw at the end of the series, with £5,000 up for grabs. OK, so me and Roger are off to the lock-up to get some more prizes. We'll see you after the break. You could be walking away with one million pounds if you play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All you have to do is pick up the phone and call. Welcome back to Family Fortunes. Now, the Raylan family are slightly behind, but we're going to do better in the second half, aren't we, team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having it, having it. Of course cool we are, because it's time to play Double Money. OK, ladies. Now, as we all know, if you are a Family Fortunes expert in Double Money, the points are worth twice as much as they were in the last round. And we're only looking for the top five answers up on our board. We surveyed 100 people, and we asked them to name Something Father Christmas does when he comes to your house. Which music? Leaves presents. Leaves presents? Yes, yeah, top answer. <laughs> play. They're going to play. Back to your families. No conferring. Over to you, Lee. Something Father Christmas does when he comes to your house. Eats your pies that you leave out for him. Eats, <laughs> eats your pies that you leave out for him. <laughs> yes! yes! Lee! And you've won a prize. Roger, what's Lee won? Tiny but big in sound, here's a CD, cassette and radio rolled into one. Lee, you've won a remote control microsystem. Well done, Lee. <laughs> okay, Pete, tell me Father Christmas does when he comes to your house. Comes down the chimney. Yes, number three. We <laughs> do well. Steve. Leaves your reindeers outside. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Keep taking your pills, Steve. Uh, Lee leaves the reindeers outside. <laughs> yes! Outside! I'm never going to, I'm never going to doubt our survey, ever. All right, James, what do you reckon? We only need one more. Uh, creeps about your house. Creeps about your house. <laughs> no, you have lost a life. Teresa, what do you reckon? Takes his wellies off. No, two lives lost and Taylor family having their little committee meeting could steal. Lee. Feed your pet. <laughs> And you've got enough to do, you know what I mean? Leave the Christmas present there, you want to feed the pets? Well, is he your milk? <laughs> no, you have lost all your lives. Say the family, you can steal this. Let's find out. Denise? He says ho, 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 Andy. He, he says ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Zellan? He checks you've been good. Checks been good. Checks your sleep. Sleep. Checks your Christmas list. I was going to say, <laughs> checks you're asleep, but I think we're going to go with says ho, 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 laugh. Says, says ho, ho, ho. Last. Okay, this is very, 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 very important. If you get it, you're through to the big money round. We're looking for ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Survey? <laughs> no! Money goes to the And the missing answer is... <laughs> kiss his mummy. It was him. Yeah, kiss his mummy. It was kiss his mummy. Of course it was. Okay, let's play another round of double money. <laughs> Okay, Lee. Okay, Denise. Welcome. Here we go. Anybody's getting this? We're looking for the top four answers up on the board. And we ask our 100 people to name something you find on top of the wardrobe. <laughs> Lee. Socks. Socks. <laughs> Socks. Socks. <laughs> no, it isn't. Denise. Suitcases. Suitcases. We're going with suitcases. Yes, it is. Number two. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? Okay, back to your families. No conferring. Still anybody's game. Alicia, something you find on top of the wardrobe. I'd say dust. We're going with dust. Yes, top answer. <laughs> Sasha. Boxes. We're going for boxes. <laughs> no, you've lost a life. Aren't you Ruth? Uh, last year's fashions. Last year's fashions. <laughs> no, two lives lost. And it could go. So the Raylan family could steal this. Zellan. Hats. We're going for hats. No, you've lost all your lives. Over to the Raylan family. Okay, had a little committee meeting. 
What do we reckon, Lee? Boxer shorts. <laughs> Theresa? Naughty magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these are my help, Ken. Some of these are my help. James? Mm. Can't think of anything. Steve? Old wallpaper. Old wallpaper? Vince? Mm, say shoes. Okay, so what's the answer you're going to go with? Shoes. If shoes is up there, you are through to the big money round. If shoes is not up there, the Taylor family are going through. We're looking for shoes. <laughs> no! Well done, Alicia. Well done. You're through for the big money round. And the fourth answer is... Spiders. Insects. And number three was... Toys. Toys. Well done, Alicia and Taylor family. You are through to the big money round. But let us go over here. Vince, bad luck, my friend. Bad luck. Did you enjoy it? Yep. Oh, you, you have been a great family. I love all that. Come on! 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 That's very nice of you. Listen, you're not going home to Essex alone. You're taking away £272, a digital camera, a freezer, a hi-fi system. will give you a Rayland family fortune of £732. <laughs> Have a great journey home. <laughs> well done, Alicia. Well done, Taylor family. You're through to the big money round. Who's going to be playing for the star prize? Me and Sasha. You two. Come out here. <laughs> Let's play for big money. <laughs> Okay, ladies, all we have to do now is just get over 200 points up on our survey and we've won a thousand pounds in cash. Great. Great. Simple as that. But if you could also throw in the five top answers between you, we'll take that one thousand pounds, throw it out the window, and we'll give you three thousand pounds instead. Even better. Even better, <laughs> Sasha. We like that. Now, Sasha, I know you're going first. Right. So, Alicia, if you go through to the shed, which is over there, okay. off you go and don't fiddle with the swimmer. All right? So <laughs> Fortune. Okay, Sasha, stand there. I'm going to ask you five questions. Mm -hmm. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer them. Okay, time won't start until I finish the first question. Okay. If you can't think of an answer, just say pass. If we've got time, we'll get back to it. Okay. All happy with that? Certainly. Marvellous. Let's have the uh, 15 seconds, please, up on the screen. And the best of luck, Sasha. Thank you. Name a way of signing off a letter. Yours sincerely. An item of school uniform. Blazer. A tropical fruit. Pineapple. A kind of powder. Baby talcum powder. One of the seven dwarves. Sleepy. Okay, so now. Give us a hug. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> okay, let's see how you do. First question was, name a way of signing off a letter. You said, sincerely, our survey said 26. You're all top of the season good quarter. Number two. Name an item of school uniform. You said blazer. Survey said 19. Still good, still good. Not top of the Prime amount of points there. Name a tropical fruit. You said pineapple. Survey said 26. It's still not a top answer, but we're still knocking up some points there. Number four, name a kind of powder. You said baby talcum powder. Survey said, yes, that's more like it. <laughs> top answer. Got one. Got one. <laughs> name one of the seven dwarves was the final question. You said sleepy. Survey said eight. Eight little top answer. It's still 121. You happy with that? I mean, that's good. OK, so let's clear the board and you go rejoin your family. Well done, Sasha. Alicia, here you come. All right, how was the show? It's a lovely show, isn't it? Stand over here. OK, I can tell you this. Sasha did really well on the point side of things. She got 121 points. OK. She only gave us though, one top answer. OK. So it does put a little bit of pressure on you. You only need to give me, though, 79 points. Four top answers as well, and you're laughing. Okay. You're going to get the same five questions, you're going to have 20 seconds on the clock, time won't start until I finish the first question. If you hear this sound, it means you give me an answer that we've already had from Sasha. So I'll ask you for another one. If you can't think of an answer, just say pass. If you've got time, we'll get back to it. Okay, you happy? Yep, I'm happy. All right, can we have the answers, please, up on the screen, just to remind the viewers at home? Marvellous, and of course, the 20 seconds. 
Name a way of signing off a letter. Um, yours sincerely. Um, yours faithfully. An item of school uniform. A shirt. A tropical fruit. Pineapple. Um, mango. A kind of powder. Uh, face powder. One of the seven dwarves. Uh, grumpy. Okay. Turn around. Let's get back here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I'm so sorry. I was so nervous at the beginning. <laughs> I'm so nervous at the beginning. Okay. Alicia, question number one. I ask you, name a way of signing off a letter. You said, faithfully. So they said, Okay. And only 45 more points needed. That's what we needed. Okay. Still nervous? No. <laughs> I'm shaking like a leaf now. Okay. Question number two. It's very philosophical. <laughs> Name an item of a school uniform. You said shirt. Needs to be the top answer to keep us on target. So they said... Oh! Top answer was in fact tie. No, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you say it, woman? <laughs> tie was in fact the top answer. Okay, so we've lost out on winning the three thousand pounds, but we can still play for a thousand pounds here. We just need twenty-nine points or more, okay? And we're going to win thousand pounds. <laughs> Question number three: Name a tropical fruit. I can tell you the top answer was in fact kiwi. You said mango. Our survey said. 15. 15. 15. That's good. That's good. Question number four. Name a kind of powder. You said face. If it's over 14, a thousand pounds. And you watch them run down here. <laughs> survey said 11. All of you. I'll say it. <laughs> that survey board is making us sweat today. Right. Here we go. Final question. I ask you to name one of the seven dwarves. The top answer we were looking for was dopey. You said grumpy. If it's three or more, a thousand pounds is coming your way. So they said... Yeah! There you go! Well done, girls. Okay, ladies, not only, not only have you won the thousand pounds, pounds, we're also going to take the money you won from the last round, and a telescope, and a coffee maker, and that will give you a Taylor family fortune of... £1,536! I think they're happy. I think they're happy. Okay, join us next time and see another family ballot out on family fortunes. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye! Family Fortunes is back tomorrow night at 5.30. And tonight, remember, at 7 o'clock, we have an hour-long episode of Emmerdale.